So all these press releases, yeah, this is kind of a big deal. And I... Let's talk a little bit about this SLR and exotic situation. Another one of these days. Welcome to the airport. So if you're not aware, yesterday, January 16th, there was a merger between Luxottica and Essilor, one of the largest frame manufacturers in the world and one of, one of, if not the largest, lens manufacturers in the world. These two powerhouses are now combined. It was a 46 billion euro dollar deal, uh, or that's about a 48 billion dollar US deal. Now, this is an international merger between the French and the Italian companies, and a lot of people in iCare are a little bit concerned about what this is gonna do. Is this creating monopoly on lenses and frames? Well, I can assure you that whenever there is something this large that happens in iCare, there's also incredible opportunities for individuals, patients, as well as practitioners, as well as people in the industry. So I think it's good, and I'm gonna highlight some of the things that I see are kind of exciting about this potential situation. But first, I wanna tell you a little bit about Luxottica and a little bit about Russell. Hi. Get on a plane, upgraded first class. We will get a lot more work done up there. So I just ducked into the bathroom. I'm sitting next to Mr. Snuffle Up, I guess. I really don't want to get sick. I'll see you in the ground. because you probably don't uh, recognize these bigger companies, these bigger brands. Luxottica is the maker of the following. Uh, Allen Mickley, Armani Exchange, Arnett, Brooks Brothers, Burberry, uh, Laguerre, Chanel, Coach, DKNY, Dolce Gabbana, Emporia Armani, Michael Korbs, Oakley, Oliver Peoples, uh, Paul Smith, Prasal Polo, Prada, Ray-Ban, probably heard of that one, um, uh, Tiffany Eyewear, Tori Birch, Versace, uh, and Boat Eyewear. So you've probably heard of one of those, and if it's related to eyeglasses, and it's any of those brands, and maybe a couple others, it's from Luxottica. But that's not all. There's also another area that Luxottica owns. Uh, for instance, they have their own, um, their own insurance type of company, and that's called iMed. It's accepted at general primary care private practices, but mostly it's covered through some of the chains, which happen to also be owned by Luxottica. Uh, places like Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, Sears Optical, Target Optical are all places that are owned and are a division of Luxottica. Um, they have a couple other that aren't as uh, widely known, um, but they're kind of big deals. Uh, for instance, Sunglass Hut. 
in a lot of the malls. Uh, David Clulo, um, they also own Glasses.com, GMO, uh, Laban and Pank, uh, Opsum, which I've never heard of, and uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. Uh, I might have missed some. So let me tell you a little bit more about Luxottica. Uh, in case you haven't ever heard, it's an Italian company. It's the largest eyewear company in the uh, in the world. It uh, manufactures and then distributes the eyewear all over the world. And it was started in uh, 1961, I think it is, in Italy. Um, and the glasses were actually made out of goat and deer horns. Um, and they were considered a luxury, obviously. Um, the, uh, the current head of Luxottica owns about 30, uh, about a third, about 33%. And over the last 17 months or so, he has hired three uh, top executives to try to run the company and all of them have left. One of them was only there for 40 days. So, some things have been changing, and the stock and the value of the company has dropped 30% since August of uh, 2015. Um, in, uh, in, but, the company remains uh, very, very viable. It's got 7,400 retail locations, so uh, all over the world. I think in something like 150 different countries or something like that. And uh, it has uh, one of the other really cool things about Luxottica is got uh, quite a few charitable organizations, and they put these together and they call it One Site. Um, they've got uh, almost almost uh, eighty thousand employees, I think seventy nine thousand employees worldwide. Um, and in uh, 2015, I don't know what 2016's numbers are, it ended the year with 9 billion euros in sales. So, pretty big company and they're doing pretty well. Interesting facts about Luxottica. And if you wear eyeglasses at all and uh, have been to uh, an optician somewhere, they may have mentioned to you uh, some Essilor brands. Essilor is definitely a major power horse in the uh, optical arena. And they've got uh, some pretty famous brands. For example, Verilux, uh, which is the first multifocal progressive lens, as well as uh, a, a major brand like Transitions. And Transitions is where the lenses get darker when you go outside. They've got uh, things like Crizal, they've got uh, Xperio UV, which is a specialized tint for sunglasses, which is kind of pretty cool. And they've got something called the iZen lens. The iZen lens is uh, something that helps to uh, block harmful blue light uh, when you're in front of your computer. They've also got a product that's called OptiFog. You know when you go outside and your glasses fog up, that's the intention of OptiFog, is to help that not to happen. They've also bought uh, several companies that have had some uh, products like uh, uh, Definity, which is a type of progressive lens. They've also bought a company that, that's called Kodak Lenses, that's a type of uh, eyeglass lenses, and then Nikon uh, Lenses, which are all great companies that, uh, that Essilor was able to well, acquire. Uh, it's because of the lens technology that we're able to see with glasses, and I think that's kind of the whole point of wearing glasses. So Essilor, who has formed this combination with Luxottica, is the uh, the world's number one ophthalmic company. In fact, they they have, they sell so many lenses that they say that they they sell eight Essilor lenses every single second, and that one in two progressive lenses, those are the no-line bifocals that are sold in the world, are a Verilux product. They have more than 34,000 employees in the world, and um, what's kind of interesting is, is their nearest competitor is a one-third their size. They operate in a hundred uh, different countries and five, five continents, and uh, they invest more than 150 million euros uh, in research and development every single year. 
So whether you want it or not, I'm gonna give you my perspective. First of all, the sky is not falling. The sky is falling! The sky, the sky is falling! So stop freaking out. It's two companies that are merging. Winston Churchill said, the pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, and the optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Never before in eye care have we seen something so big happening. How can we leverage that for the betterment of patients and the betterment of our practice? The sky is not falling. We've seen this sort of thing happen before. Maybe not to this degree, and maybe not to this degree. It could be something really, really awesome. But I think that there's some good things that we could potentially come to this. I think that there's great opportunity especially for patients, and that's why we're doing this. And as small business owners, as many of the doctors are that deal with Essilor and Luxottica, we probably are gonna be concerned that we're gonna be squeezed, that this, these two companies are gonna come together and they're gonna push and push and push, and we're gonna to have to push back. Well, first of all, I think it's a great opportunity and a great time for you to consider looking for other people who are like-minded like you to maybe start working with them more. Whether it's forming a, a group of your own or joining a group of doctors, one of the buying groups that are out there. I'm Vision Source. I'm not concerned because I know that the group of us at Vision Source, we won't be taken advantage of. We're going to make sure that uh, we get our own and that we help make sure that our patients are taken care of. Um, you know, I don't want to be a small fish all by myself. I want to be swimming around with other people that are like-minded. I wouldn't want to do it alone. The other thing is I think it's important for us to leverage what these companies can do to bring about better patient care. First of all, they're a group of amazing business people and they hire people that are really, really good at what they do. I want to leverage them better in my practice to make sure that I'm selling my patients the right things and I'm making the right recommendations for them. They've, they've, got, they've been successful for a reason, so I think we can leverage that. And, and let's use them and what they're going to become as a, a larger company to make our businesses better. So I don't mean to be over-optimistic, but I think most people are just being way too pessimistic. Yeah, some of these people are really freaking out. feel for them. As I'm looking through some of these posts on, uh, on Facebook and on Twitter, I'm realizing that there's some people that are legitimately concerned. And I don't mean to minimize your concern. I'm glad you have it. You're thinking about your business. You're thinking about what's in the future. I'm seeing some people that are thinking about quitting doing business with these companies just because they merged. You don't know what the companies are gonna be like. I don't know what the company's gonna be like. I'd like to think that potentially it may be a better situation. May I urge you to just hold out and watch to see what ends up happening before you to make too many judgments. That kind of sounds like what we should do in life is let's figure out how things are really going to be before we make too many judgments or jump to too many conclusions. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Time will tell. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll give an update in a year to see how things are going. This is a marathon after all. And if we start sprinting one way or the other, we might hit the finish line and have it be the wrong finish line. And that's all. And that's all I have to say about that. Infinite, infinite power, infinite, infinite power, infinite, infinite power, power, power.